My name is Yves Aubin. I'm a research scientist at Health Canada. Health Canada is a ministry responsible for health within the government of Canada. The Biologics and Genetics Therapies Directorate is the directorate responsible for the regulation of any biologics products. My area of interest is the applications of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy to the characterizations of protein therapeutics as well as polysaccharide vaccines. Being in a regulatory environment, our research must lie in the mandate, namely to provide Canadians with safe, efficacious products of high quality. One of the critical quality attributes of protein therapeutics is their structure. And NMR is a great tool to probe the structure at very high resolution and provide very detailed information on the way they are structured. So we are applying NMR spectroscopy to therapeutic proteins. How do we do that? Well, let's look at what a protein is. It's made of amino acids that forms a long biopolymer that fold into a three-dimensional conformation. And that conformation dictates its biological functions. The ultimate goal of the method, the knowledge we're gathering, is aimed at the products we deliver to Canadians. Of course, these products have isotopes such as nitrogen-15 and carbon-13 that are detectable by NMR, but are at very low abundance. So the development of NMR methods aimed at these products requires that we increase the level of these isotopes. And that we do in our laboratory. We use recombinant technology and we use E. coli and a yeast, Picchia pasteuris, because these microorganisms will grow and make our protein of interest using very simple sources of carbon or nitrogen, such as glucose or ammonium chloride. So when the cells have expressed the protein, we need to isolate and we need to purify that protein. Then we need to find solution conditions that are appropriate to apply NMR techniques because we're interested in getting high resolution information of this protein. Once we have obtained the solution conditions to study our protein, we're ready to do NMR spectroscopy. NMR measures all the frequency, radio frequency, of hydrogen atoms, carbons, and nitrogen that we have in our proteins. These, depending how we collect the data, will provide a unique spectroscopic signature. And we can collect experiments that provide a pattern that is a representation of the conformation and provides amino acid detailed information. No other technique in a single 2D spectrum can provide such level of resolution. So in order to demonstrate the robustness, the precision of these types of measurements, their ability to compare different drug products, we collaborated with the Food and Drug Administration in the US, the National Institutes for Standards and Technology, also in the US, and the Swedish Medical Product Agency. And we've looked at Nepogen and various biosimilar and showed that NMR can compare to high precision and high detail these important drugs. Recently, the NIST has developed methods that are basically breaking the barrier of the size of the molecule and are allowing the study of monoclonal antibody fragments, namely the FEB and the FC. These are opening up a very important class of protein drugs to the study of NMR. So how this will impact the health of Canadians? The methods we're developing provide a description of the structure in greater detail that is not yet available with other methods. And this will facilitate the regulation of these therapeutic protein products.